Hey, cool. Man, my ruler, you're broke. Anyway, you can't even give this amount of money to him. You're in, you're in fucking debt. Little bastard. Exotic gifts. Yeah, I'll give him a tiger. You have a tiger. Hey. All right. So let's see. What's his loyalty after his, his friends? I think I think when you're friends with a ruler, it's worth um five. Yeah, friend of ruler. Okay. I may grant him stipends. We'll see. Um, it's expensive, but it is a pretty good way to get. It's a pretty good way to get um. Yeah, it's a pretty good way to get um. Get some loyalty from people. So I'll, I'll consider that. Essentia, Sabinia, and Kona. Yeah, so Sabinia is guaranteed theirs. We can't attack him. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna need to finish this war relatively quickly because, like I said, this truce with the realm expires in in um, yeah, in four seventy. So it's five years from now. Hmm. Alelia is still the most disloyal place. Let's find out why. Is it tribe? Aggressive expansion? Not Latin culture group. I could spend some could spend some points to assimilate these guys. I mean we don't well, yeah, we don't really need. These are these are Freeman. Massilian and Hellenic. Um, we don't exactly need oratory power right now because we've already fabricated our claim on on Pisentia. Are you serious? Claims never expired? Wow. Okay. Well, let me let me assimilate. Yeah, let me assimilate some of these um some of these guys. Yeah, some of this pop become they'll become a Triscan. Wow. Even just doing that actually seriously turned things around. Okay. Hey man, I'll take it. Military access from Sabinia. Ooh. What's going on here, motherfucker? Second Roman Napoleon War. War goals to take to Rentum. Okay, so Rome is going after Apulia. Okay, so the Sabines are at war with the Romans. Um Did Rome annex something here? Was there a little I think there was a vassal here at some point. Okay, so when can we declare? 30th of October? Damn. It's almost at the end of the year. Alright. Any more import, import routes that we can use? Let's see. By Cinem. There really is not a lot that we can that we can import here. Marble. I mean, city and local provincial loyalty might help. Yeah, cohort recruit speed's kind of kind of useless. Um, earthenware. Hmm. I don't know. So our country civilization level is thirty six point seven percent. Arbitrary rewards.
Arbitrator is going to give me some money. Civic matters, you say? We don't need the civic power. I'll actually take the money. Yum. Um, we've become a little bit corrupt, but... Holy shit, we can get a whole nother 10% inventory discipline? Heavy inventory discipline? Wow. Let's actually take a look. What is it now? So for our heavy inventory, which is our princey pays, we have 30 fucking percent heavy inventory discipline. <laughs> That's terrifying. <laughs> That's hella good, dude. The Romans are coming after the Sabidians. Okay. So Rome is getting some ideas here. Pieces of shit. Little bastards, man. Oh, cohorts. Um, do we have any more conversions to do? No, so we could call down an omen. National manpower. I I'm honestly actually thinking research points, maybe. National tax or commerce might come in handy. I mean, then again, though, it's like it's like, okay, do you really need money or would you prefer something else? Like, would you prefer like population? You know. Um, even aggressive expansion is not that big of a deal. Discipline against the Romans would come in handy because because the the blessing lasts for a while. So so when would it expire? Two thousand and eight days. That's like what? It's not ten years. It's like is it is it ten years? Around there. I mean, almost certainly we're going to war with the Romans. You know. In 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 four seventy, we should absolutely attack the Romans. So we'll probably take a lot of this this territory. So we need to be ready for that. Looks like the Romans are gonna take Sabinium. Which is unfortunate. Let's see, Amoni Lainis is one of our more prominent clan chiefs and a strong leader of his people. Their loyalty to our central rule is coming to question lately, and Camellius Silius has suggested moving some of that clan under our authority. Such a move would surely put us at odds with uh, Amoni Lainis, but secure our own authority at the cost of his. He's straight up going to become disloyal. We do gain centralization, though. What exactly is that value? Centralization? Can I see it somewhere? I mean, what exactly is centralization? I don't see it. As far as like a modifier? Oh, here, okay. Centralization is a measure of how settled a tribal nation is. Trumps with negative centralization receive bonuses migration of tribesmen, whereas tribes with positive centralization receive bonuses or civilization of freeman promotion cost. All right, so this is, this is gonna put us at 100% centralization. Now this guy is just straight up Disloyal. So for five years, though, we would get monthly loyalty minus ten on everybody else. So it's kind of a it's kind of a question. Do we leave them disloyal, or I I probably could bribe them. I mean, I guess that's fine. We generate a little bit of oratory power. In fact, look at my economy. I think let's just bribe him for now. He's about to die anyway. He's actually he's seventy three years old. Centralization list of minus twenty five. Is not clan chief. Loyalty is not less than 33. Any character is not clan chief. Loyalty is less than 33. Okay, so... 
Abandon the sedentary lifestyle. Release autocracy. At Luna, city civilization levels greater or equal to 50. Trees embraced absolute authority. Um, any character... Okay, so any character can't be disloyal. And apparently there's some sort of law that says that's absolute authority. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. What else? What about embrace democracy? Increase council powers and cities, city level civilization and vet Luna is greater or equal to 50. We become a democratic republic. Huh. So civilization value now. Pretty good tribe positive centralization, oratory advances. Local tribesmen happiness. Civilization value increases by zero. 0.04 every month that is civilization by a tree is below the maximum of 37. Okay. So the more the more everywhere becomes centralized, the better. Okay. So you got quite a bit of well, you got a little bit of corruption, not much. Could be worse. Let's see by Cinem. You have a lot of Freeman. Let's get you some wine. Um, but what do you? Masai, you have a lot of citizens. Not much I can get you there, though. I'm actually going to revoke my guarantee, this guy. I'm, I'll probably attack him in the future. I think. You little bastard. Don't run away from me. Motherfucker. Okay, so Sabinia looks like it's going to be annexed here. Which is unfortunate, but the Romans are going to get it, I guess. So we're just going to take out Ancona and Bicentia for ourselves. So we declare in just a little bit. I think it's over at the end of this month, the truce. On oh, the 30th of October? Okay. Jesus. So that's a level two fort. This is a level one. So we don't have to worry about it here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to have to send troops up here. Then again, though, it doesn't cost me manpower. So whatever. Does not cost me manpower here. Uh... Oh, damn. The Sabinians took Capua. Oh, shit. That's interesting. That's kind of cool. So, yeah, it, it was, it, you know, it sucks that the Sabinians are going to be... Because they could have helped us out with the Romans, to be fair. But, whatever. I'm not sure if Rome will annex that territory. Possibly. Let's see. The war is fought over Take Tarentum. The score is currently minus 15 for Rome versus Apulia. So, Rome is losing this war. But I think that's about to change. They've taken all of Sabinia. Trentum and Apulia are trying to resist bravely. But I don't know if it's going to happen. Let's see, Latium. Okay, so once we get all these guys to 100% loyalty, we'll probably swap over to uh, a different a different sort of policy. I'm not sure which one. Something good, hopefully. 
Maybe cultural change. Something along those lines. Let's see. A dispute between the clans of Arthur the Sir Camilla Silius has risen. Both of them want certain valuable lands in Pesna and Persna. Both claims have their claims to the land, and supporting one of them of the other could end with this loyalty. Oh shit. I mean, neither of these guys are particularly loyal. Um. Yeah, like here, like if, if we split the lands between them, this guy's gonna become just straight up disloyal. I'm gonna go and do that then, but I think I'm gonna maybe I'll hold a triumph for him then. Holding a triumph seems to get his loyalty up pretty good. Let's see, I got a question. Twitch chat, what major challenges will you have aside from defeating Rome? Honestly, I mean, at least from, from what I've played of this playthrough right now as Etruria, one of the problems is managing the loyalty of the clan chiefs. So we we are not, you know, uh, a civilized nation. We're, we're a, a cell tribe or a federated tribe, you know? And so you have to keep tabs on all these, these generals here who have who have their own um, agendas and they have their own armies and stuff and it, and you know playing them against each other like they're all really powerful armies and really powerful generals and they're useful in wars and for expanding the empire but it's it's actually kind of difficult to to balance them against each other you, you have to kind of keep things in um every little decision you have to keep things in mind about how it's going to affect their loyalty it's actually pretty interesting i have to admit it's pretty cool i like the siege ability Monthly tyranny. We don't really need aggressive expansion change. Primary culture happiness might be able to be useful. Um, I'm thinking research points, yeah, because that's just gonna that's just gonna straight up boost our research points. So, just kind of useful. Um, can I get a new researcher here? Yeah, I've got somebody that's a little more powerful here, so he's better. What's going on here? What? What? Uh, who's this loyal motherfucker? What's going on? Okay, so this guy's barely fucking loyal. Bribe, could bribe him. Shit. All right, we'll just bribe him then, and then let's take a look who else is just loyal. This guy. No risk of rebellion. No risk of civil war. So we don't want this guy just loyal. So. Hmm. We've already recently bribed him. Could exalt him, but that's going to piss off the other clan chiefs. Could smear his reputation. I mean, we could do this, but we piss off the other clan chiefs. That's the thing. Which I can't really afford right now. Hmm. Make friends. I'll try to make friends with them, maybe, but... He's just going to kind of do his own thing, I guess, for a, for a little while. Our main army is still in command of our, our leader, so that's that's fine. Exotic gifts. Um, shit, we don't have any money for this, actually. Alright, we'll probably praise him. He's 75 years old, so he should die pretty soon. We're not at risk of civil war, we're not at risk of rebellion. But, uh, let's see, the Romans? That's quite an army right there. Got an arbitrator? Yep, I don't really want to spend the money, but I'll, um, let's see. Spurn? Fuck. Yeah, I'm hoping some of these guys die. So this guy's pretty young. This guy is 54. It's still pretty young. This guy's 75, so he's he's gonna die for sure. Let's see. Um, gotta come at the switch chat. Ah, I see a lot more internal management than EU4. Then, I would I would say yeah. I mean, some of it's kind of surface level, like you know, where's this pop? Where's that pop? But there is there there are things to do, especially if you want to min max. Let's see, no longer importing iron. You know, 
there there are things to do and there are things to consider when you're at peace. Like that that much is true. You know, that much is definitely true. Um, in a way that I think EU4 doesn't exactly have. Okay, so the Romans took, yeah, the Romans took Sabinia here. Okay. We should wrap this up because we're going to be declaring war on these guys pretty soon. Either that or we'll be attacked by them. So. Rome is, is getting back up there in power. We're still stronger than him, but... Um, I need to make sure at least all my clan chiefs are loyal. Let's see, who's de who's declared war? What's going on over here? Uh, oh, Fr uh, Asha is in a civil war. <laughs> Big surprise there. Yep. We should definitely make sure that we maintain those um, those surpluses of, of iron and such for the for the discipline that we get. Okay. 